Good morning, I'm Steve. Welcome to my first vlog. I know, I'm old, I'm ugly, but listen to these numbers. In a recent Nerdfighter survey of 128,807 people, I was one of only 302 people in the 55 plus age category. If you look at people 45 and up, there are still under 1,000. That's less than 1%. And registering for this week's VidCon, the top age group wasn't at 55, but only 51 and over. Now this isn't all surprising. When Mark Bazer spoke with John Green on the interview show, he suggested that being 39, he obviously would not be a nerd fighter himself. Obviously. This notion persists across the internet. Search YouTube for old people in technology and you'll see we old folks are hysterical. We aren't just expected to be confused by social networking and video editing. It was probably only dumb luck that we managed to turn on the light switch to find the computer in the first place. Some of this is deserved. Old farts can be resistant to change and reluctant to try something new. But here's the thing. Social networks, video blogs, and nerdfighteria offer great hope for humanity. They offer us a promise that we can build communities and learn to understand one another better. We can find respect for others' talents, skills, knowledge, and potential. In short, as John himself might say, to imagine and understand each other more complexly. But the danger lies in allowing these communities to become cloisters. If we turn our social networks into echo chambers, whether that's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or whatever, if we only listen to people who look, sound, and think like us, then we haven't gained from the internet, we've let it limit us. Spend enough time in those cloisters and we become calcified, rigid in our way of thinking. Imagination slips away until our ability to discover new and amazing worlds withers and dies. If enough of us over 50 or 40 or, good God, even 30, are willing to try, eventually one or two of us will produce something so that younger YouTubers will say, hey, that was worth watching. But for that to happen, we old folks first have to pay attention to what kids have been doing for a while now. We have to be willing to listen to them and learn from them. I don't want to start a blog because I hold any special answers or wisdom that the world needs to share, although obviously I do, but because I want to help show that this door is at least open. Video blogs are a means of communication, and there is no means of communication that should be off limits to any one group. Two, if you're younger, don't be afraid to reach out to listen to someone who may not have your perfect skin. You know what it's like to be pigeonholed because of your age, and you know it's not right. If all of us start paying more attention to everyone around us, that can only be a good thing. Because let's face it, if our goal is to decrease world suck, we're only going to get so far if we're ignoring half the world's population. Let's not do that. If you've got any thoughts to share or questions to ask, I'd love to hear them. Hopefully I'll figure out how to respond, and until then, I'll just keep winging it. If I can manage how to get the lights on and find the computer. Next time, I might try to explain a bit of what nerdfighteria means, for those of you who are confused by all that how it's changed my life, and just what it's like to be the world's 414th oldest nerd fighter. Till then, show somebody you love them. And I'm sorry, especially if this is like copyrighted, but there's no better sign off I can come up with. So, you know, DFTBA.